In the ever-changing world of space exploration, a big discovery has caught everyone's attention. China, with its strong ambition and constant search for new ideas, has revealed something groundbreaking. They've introduced two huge rockets, showing off their growing power in space. This surprise has amazed not just NASA and SpaceX, but also suggests big changes ahead in space travel and business. China's move with these rockets changes how the space competition works. It shows they're serious about leading in space and have the tech to back it up. Reusable rockets used to be just in sci-fi stories, but now they're real. They'll make space missions cheaper and easier than ever. China's joining the space race with tech that could rival or even beat what SpaceX and others have. This isn't just about pride or tech, it's changing how countries work together and compete in space. It's a whole new era for space exploration. But before we get into the details, hit that like button and subscribe to Tech Revolution. We're all about bringing you the latest and greatest updates so you don't want to miss out. Alright, let's get right into it. China's big plans for space have caught the attention of the global space community, especially big players like SpaceX and NASA. They're gearing up for a busy 2024 with lots of missions and new technology and it's got their competitors worried. China is aiming for a whopping 100 launches in 2024, a national record. They're sending missions to their space station and the moon, including crewed missions and bringing back moon samples. One highlight is the Chang'e 6 mission, which aims to get samples from the far side of the moon, a first for any country. China's not just staying in Earth's orbit, they're eyeing the moon and beyond. They plan to set up a research station near the moon's south pole and land astronauts on the moon by the end of the decade. They're also looking at exploring asteroids and comets with a Tianwen-2 mission around 2025. China is introducing new rockets like the Long March C-6 and Long March 12. But their busy schedule and space ambitions have NASA and the US military worried about space becoming militarized and competition for moon resources. NASA saying we're in a new space race, warning against China getting too much control over moon resources. China says they're all about peaceful space exploration and don't want space weapons but that's not easing concerns much. China has been making big strides in space tech lately and one standout project is their reusable rockets. These rockets are getting attention because they could challenge NASA and SpaceX. Let's take a closer look at China's progress with reusable rockets and why it's a big deal for the space industry. The China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation or CASC plans to test two new large reusable rockets in 2025 and 2026. These rockets are part of a bigger plan to make rockets that can be used again and again. This is important because it can make space travel cheaper and let us do more in space. One of these rockets, called the Long March 10, is special. It's designed to carry a new crew spacecraft to space and might be used for China's moon missions. This rocket can carry a lot of stuff, up to 27 tons, which put it in competition with the big rockets used by NASA and SpaceX. China's recent strides in creating two big reusable rockets are about to change how the global space industry works. These efforts show China's dedication to making space exploration and commercial space activities more sustainable. It's a major milestone in the progress of aerospace technology. China's reusable rockets are a big deal because they cut down on the cost of space missions. By using the same rockets again and again, we don't need to make as many new materials for each launch. That's good for the environment and makes space exploration more affordable. This move towards sustainability fits with global efforts to lessen the impact space activities have on the environment. It sets a good example for future missions that care about nature. China's focus on reusable rockets will help business and space grow. Cheaper launches mean it's easier for private companies to send stuff into space. That encourages more innovation and competition in the industry. This could mean more satellites going up for things like communication, Earth observation, and navigation. 
It expands what we can do with satellites globally. China's new reusable rockets challenge big players like NASA and SpaceX to speed up their own work on reusable rocket tech. This competition pushes everyone to make better technology faster. It also encourages more teamwork in exploring and using space. As countries and companies compete to lead in space, it's all of us who benefit. We get more science and cool new techs that comes from all this competition. The Long March 10 and other reusable rockets China plans to make can help with their big plans for space, like sending people to the moon and putting up big satellites and space stations. This could make China a big player in exploring and using space resources. China's making progress with reusable rockets, like using methane liquid oxygen engines and doing successful tests of rockets that take off and land vertically. This shows they're getting better at space tech, which means they might reach big space goals sooner than we thought. China's focus on reusable rockets fits with what other countries are doing to make space travel more sustainable and cheaper. As China keeps working on this, it's going to change a lot in the space industry, affecting big players like NASA and SpaceX in a big way. China's space industry is growing fast, aiming to be a big player worldwide. They're diving into the commercial space business, showing quick progress and a clear goal to be a top competitor by 2030. This drive is backed by policies encouraging private investment and the rise of many state-owned and private space companies. China's commercial space scene is diverse, with big companies and startups contributing to various space activities. They're offering services from launching satellites to space logistics, aiming to compete in different space markets. This includes unique services like hyperspectral imaging, where China has an edge over global competitors. China's rise in the space industry means tough competition for Western space companies. Their ability to deploy satellites quickly and develop new tech not only lowers prices but also brings in new services with little competition globally. This could change how space services are offered worldwide, pushing others to innovate more to stay in the game. Moreover, China's commercial space sector is likely to impact the global space economy through partnerships. We might see more joint projects, especially in areas where China has special skills or offers affordable solutions. In addition, China has started its much-awaited program to land people on the moon by 2030. This significant program aims to achieve several goals, including landing, exploring, collecting samples, conducting research, and returning safely. It's not just about reaching the moon, it's about building up China's ability to explore space with people. They're also working on new rockets, spacecraft, lunar landers, and gear for astronauts, as well as inviting proposals for scientific projects and rover plans for the moon. China isn't just looking at the moon, they're planning to explore asteroids too. They're starting a project called Tianwen-2 to check out asteroids and comets near Earth by about 2025. These big plans show that China is thinking ahead in space science and exploring for a long time to come. China's move into making big reusable rockets is changing how we do things in space. It's all about making exploration more sustainable, helping businesses grow in space, and making the global space race more exciting. These steps will open up new possibilities for discovery, connection, and cooperation beyond our planet. As countries and companies rethink their plans because of China's big step, one thing is sure, the space industry is changing big time. China's bold move shows they're serious about space and shakes up how things have been. It's like a new era starting with more innovation, competition, and exploration than ever before. What do you think about China's space race? We would like to know in the comments section below, so feel free to drop your perspective, your insights truly matter. And if you are into the whole economics and world politics scene, great news, we have more videos coming your way just for you. So stay tuned and catch you in the next one.